AI. I'm sure you've heard it by now, and I'm also sure you've heard of AI artwork that's now popularized on the internet. It's so popular that even big companies have started to use it to promote their brands. But not only brands are using it, also just, you know, regular people. I mean, everywhere I look, I will see some new AI bro posting their AI art and then claiming ownership. Even though you used an AI to steal from other artists, but okay. And the worst part is that it has now infected Pinterest. I mean, it has infected everywhere, but also Pinterest, which sucks because I like to search of references. But nowadays, everything is just AI art. Like, literally, the entire page is AI art. I will search up character design. Bam. AI here. AI there. AI here. AI there. AI everywhere. And they all look the same. They're not special in any kind of way. I mean, they'll change it up a little bit. But that's it, honestly. It's the same drawing with the same prompt. And it sucks even more when I see an artwork that looks amazing, only for me to find out it's AI and not by an actual artist that I can follow. So, for today's video, I decided I'm going to give a redesign to these AI character designs. One, because I can't find any human references anymore that I like. Two, because as much as I hate to admit it, these designs are actually pretty cool but just cluttered and three because I can now I'm going to start and hold on I don't want to hear anyone in these comments telling me I'm copying or stealing from these AI bros I mean honestly if the original person who made this AI drawing is going to complain well I don't care so starting off with the first drawing I chose to draw this character design because I think it's really pretty and I think it also is really interesting but just a little too much like too much is going on in my opinion so i decided i'm going to be simplifying the design started off with drawing the sketch. I decided to keep her jacket somewhat simple so it'd be easier to draw. Her original jacket has a lot of cool pins and stuff so I wanted to keep some of those elements. For her hair, I kept it relatively simple as well. I tried to still keep like her little swoop at the front that she had like in the original drawing. However, I didn't add the pins because there was like three pins I could pick from and I didn't know which one I liked, so I just added none. Then for her horns, I kept it simple. I tried to make it similar like as like the drawing, but mine were definitely straighter, which I could have added a little bit more of a curve to. I feel like that would have looked better on her hair, but I don't know. So from this point forward, my audio uh, started messing up. So I will be basically doing the rest of this scriptless. So I'm sorry if everything is all jumbled up and doesn't make sense.
So for her eyes, I wanted to give them like a dragon-like shape because, well, she has horns and a tail and I figured it would fit. I don't know. So if you notice, I did not do anything for her chest, like I didn't add any like jewelry on her chest because if you zoom in, you'll see that all of the jewelry is kind of like mended together by the AI, I figure the AI doesn't know what it's doing. So it's very hard to see what's there, so I just kept it open. I feel the biggest mistake I made here is mainly making the colors so similar because the jacket and the overall ended up blending together so you don't really see the difference from like a distance. That's like the biggest mistake I would say. Side by side, you can definitely tell that it was inspired by the original drawing, but that's the entire point of this video. So on to the next drawing. Just like the first one, I found this design to be really cute. I actually skipped it before because I thought the image was actually not AI until I noticed the hands and the fact that the ribbons were different than like the ribbons over here and also because the comments told me. so. So personally, I had in mind to basically give him a cape because he has like this little jacket um, thing on his back, which I actually thought at first was a cape until I realized it wasn't, but I thought it was still cute to give him a little cape. I also had in mind to like make him a little royalty. He gave the vibe of like a little prince, so that was what I was going for.
So for the liner, the first thing I noticed is how quickly I was done with it. I mean, I feel it's probably because it was a lot shorter and a lot smaller, therefore it took less time? I don't know. For his eye color, I wanted it to be blue because I did not feel like drawing yellow and I'm kind of tired of drawing yellow. My favorite colors to draw for eyes are definitely pink, blue, and purple, so those are the options. His clothes were a lot easier to color than the last drawing because it was a lot brighter first off and I don't know, I think, I think his jacket was just a lot easier for me to color in. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I was afraid I was gonna end up messing it up like a lot worse than this, but it turned out better than I expected, so I'm happy. So that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to know everyone's opinion on AI art, if you think we should be able to use them for references, or if you believe any and all AI art needs to be burnt to the ground. I would love to hear it. Please tell me in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!